Police. The Rio is a four-door sedan or a sporty five-door hatchback. See the Rio and all our inventory online at keyoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. See Key of LaGrange for complete details. Leases with $1,999 due at signing. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back. We kicked the ball off. To Harrison County, going to be taking about the three-yard line. He had to jump up and uh, reach to grab that one out. Brings it out across the 15 to the 17-yard line. And that's where Harrison County will have it first and 10. Moving left to right on your radio dial. Another good job by Hunter Milliman kicking that ball all the way to the goal line. So the Cavalier defense uh, has an opportunity to get a quick three and out here. Here comes Harrison County. Going to box up pretty tight. Double tight end set. Going to go uh, strong side left. Going to uh, get a couple of yards there. Not job, not bad job to get across the twenty. Little little uh, little halfback lead there off the left side. There play picked up. Actually, going to give him about four yards there, Jack. Yep. So uh, brings up second down and six. Jack, real quickly before we get started, one of our one of our new friends here in Harrison County asked us to uh, wish it, uh, wish a young lady named Kayla. Uh, a speedy recovery. She's at home recovering from an injury. Uh, wasn't able to make it to the game tonight. So, uh, so Kayla, our best wishes are with you, and we're thinking about you. And hey, she may even listening to the Ustream broadcast on 969. So they go back to an eye this time. Got a, uh, a wing to this near side. Very uh, tight split in. Going off this to the right side. Find a hole. Getting across the 30. That'll be a first down for Harrelson County. That's a good run off the right side that time by their by their uh, they ran a little option to the right, uh, left it with the fullback and he got out across the uh, right near the 30 yard line to, uh, for the first first down of the night for Harrison County. Hey, you know uh, number nine, their fullback. When I saw his stance, I, I thought he was a big offensive lineman in the backfield. He, he he's uh, he's deceiving. He's actually look, he looks like a big fullback. I mean not not heavy but just tall. The quarterback is number eight, Cody Carnes. He's under center, going down the line on the left side this time. And this time, Cavaliers going to read that a little bit well. Good job at that time, but number 14 of the uh, Cavaliers to make that tackle. That's, uh, that's Devin, D- De- Dean Smith. That's Deion Smith and also Big Justice Perkins uh, from his defensive tackle position and Bronze Zalea, number eight. Uh, uh, Justice Perkins has done a great job for the Cavaliers the last uh, couple of weeks on that defensive line, and uh, he gets off to a good start tonight. Yeah, what to give Harrison County a lot of credit. They're uh, trying to grind the ball down the field. Again, their quarterback. Carnes goes under center, has a man uh, slip back behind him, turns around, hands it off to the tailback. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he's got another yard to the 35, brings up third down. Bronze the layer from his linebacker position there, stepped in and filled that hole as the uh, fullback got the ball out near the uh, 35-yard line. So that's going to bring up about uh, third down and six, guys. Yeah, it looks like they're, uh, they're definitely trying to ball control it. Uh, you know, the, the, their, their attitude is, is kind of like uh, the old troop game the other night against Sandy Creek. You know, it's ball control. You keep them from scoring. And it looks like that's what they're trying to do, just simply ground and pound to keep Cowboys' offense off the field. Carnes goes back under center. Puts the man in motion back to the near side. Toss sweep to him. A little bit of a wing back reverse, but he's going to be hit right at the 40-yard line. That may be enough for a first down, depending on where they spot it. That looks like it could be a first down again, depending on the spot. They're going to give him forward progress out near the 40, so I believe that's, that's going to be a first down. And on equal1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back. I uh, had a few technical difficulties there. Appreciate uh, all of our folks uh, staying with us. and I uh, appreciate uh, Britt and Coleman taking care of all that technical stuff. Uh, right now, Harrison County with their second first down balls at the 40-yard line. Uh, Greg, is it just they're getting to our outside, or are they winning the, the line of scrimmage battle? No, I, I think they're uh, up the middle. Callaway's holding their own. I think it's just really right now it's off tackle where they're succeeding. And they're going to go again to uh, number nine. It's uh, Caleb May is the Caleb fullback. Bell. He's going to get hit at the line, again, uh, again about a yard and a half. They'll give him two, second and eight. Number 57 there, uh, Devin Powell, who we're used to seeing on the, on the offensive side at one of the guard positions, uh, made that stop there in the middle of the line. But, uh, you know, it's a feeling out process early in the game. The uh, uh, offense is going to try to see what they can do. The defense will make some adjustments. So uh, uh, brings up second down and eight here for Harrison County. Harrison breaks the huddle. Quarterback back under center eye, deep eye formation for him. Puts a man in motion from the far side off that wing. Comes down the line, goes to the fullback, right off tackle. Gets across the 45-yard line. He'll be looking at third and four. You know, another good job by uh, by the fullback there. He just uh, lowered his head and got as much as he could. So brings up a manageable third down and four. So uh, let's see if the Cavaliers can hold him, uh, uh, hold him on his third down and get the ball. Well, you can imagine that the uh, offense really kind of chomping at the bit to get out there on the field. See, especially with some pretty good field position. 
been a nice opening drive for Harrison County so far. They yep. got the ball on just outside their uh, 15, and now they're all the way out to their own 41. Carnes again back under center. Eye formation behind him, not quite as deep as before. Long snap count, takes it. Go Ball's right on the, the ground. They go right up the middle. The ball is on the ground. Let's see who has it. And it looks like they got back on top of it, so that's going to bring up fourth down for Harrison County. Yeah, he's going, he's going to be short by maybe about two yards, and it looks like uh, Harrison County may uh, uh, either try to go forward or maybe draw the Cavaliers offside here. Well, you know, let's, no punter. Let, well, let's, let's play the, the, the odds here. It's, it's fourth down. you got the ball almost to the 50-yard line. Got to get about two and a half to get, get the first down. And you're looking at a team that, with their offense gets on the field, has a very high likelihood of finding their way to the end zone pretty quick. So why not go ahead and take a chance early on? So this is going to get these Rebel fans uh, shaking their bells and getting excited about this one. And they could try to go on a hard count. Uh, try to go on a hard count to draw the Cavaliers off. So let's see what happens. They're going to turn toss sweep to this near side. And he's got to get the 50. And he's gonna he's not going to get there. He's going to be short. He'll lose yardage back to the 45. So the Cavalier offense will come out of the field. Cavaliers read that really well. That was the same uh, pitch sweep that uh, got the first down earlier. Uh, but the Cavaliers were all over that one. Number four, uh, Terry Guy with number 11. Dre Martin did a good job uh, uh, from their defensive back position and linebacker positions and held that play to a loss. So the Cavaliers get the ball. Excellent field position on the uh, Harrison County side of the 50. The ball is going to be marked at uh, right about the 45-yard line. They'll be moving right to left on your radio dial. They'll break the huddle, go to the I formation. It'll be Rosser at the fullback. Parks goes under center. Down the line. Going to keep it. Nobody pitches. To Culpepper going around the right end. He's going down across the 30 to about the 27-yard line for a first down for the Cavaliers on their first play. Great job on the option that time. Number five, Petey Leverett with a stalk walk on the outside. Tess Parks took it right to the defensive end, made him commit, and uh, there was nobody out there for Eddie Culpepper. Big gain on first down. Right back to the line of scrimmage, no huddle. Parks with a handoff to his tailback. He's going to cut up at the 20 to the 15, 10, 5, Touchdown, Cowley Cavaliers on their second play of the ball game. That's how, that's how you make a statement, Jack. What a great job that time. The Cavaliers' favorite little play, a little trap up the middle, and Devon Rosser, we've seen him do it all year, uh, break it off uh, break it off his uh, his left guard, Devin Powell, his uh, center, uh, Stephen Curtis, and uh, big Brandon Sutton at right guard. And uh, uh, good job by the Cavaliers that time as they go up 6 to nothing with 6.51 to go in the first quarter with the extra point to follow. You know, it looked like Rosser. He burst through the hole. He kind of hesitated for a second. Then he just turned it on and uh, see you later. Snap, hold, kick is up. And that kick is good. So it's 6.51 left to go in the first quarter of play. 7 nothing is your score. Callaway Cowler is leading right now. You're listening to Callaway Cowler football on 96.9 and 1240 and on the World Wide Web at Eagle1023.com. Proven leadership is a must to keep LaGrange strong, and we have the opportunity to elect a mayor that will work for all of LaGrange. That's Jim Thornton. He knows what needs work and what already works. Jim Thornton is ready to listen to you and work hard to keep LaGrange strong. So vote Jim Thornton, Mayor, November 5th. Hello, I am Jim Thornton. And if you want to know more about me and my campaign for mayor, please go to jimthornton.org and like me on Facebook. And please remember to vote November 5th. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Well, that's why if you're Harrison County, you want to keep Callaway off the board because two plays, they go 45 yards and scores. We're going to kick the ball off high, taking it at the 10. Harrison County coming up field at the 20. 25, uh-oh, versus speed across the 40. And... Uh, Nice job by Harrison County. Nice little return for them to get their fans up and going. He gets to the 44. The kick that time wasn't as deep as Milliman would have liked, and uh, number seven brought it back out. Cavaliers had a little trouble last week as they gave up a 100-yard uh, a uh, kickoff return for a touchdown, and the uh, Harrison County found a seam there, got out uh, to about the 44-yard line. So uh, good, uh, good field position for their second offensive possession, Jack. Actually, this is where they ended up, right here at the 45, and, uh, but that's something that the Cavaliers have got to work on if they hope to go deep into the playoffs this year. Wing to the right, eye formation behind the quarterback. Carnes checks his line. Has a man split wide to the far side. He'll take the snap, come down the line, hand it off to the fullback. He'll get about two, maybe three yards, brings up second and seven. You know, like, go ahead, Greg. I'm I, sorry. I'm just sorry. I'm looking at, uh, at the players getting off the ground, and number nine, their fullback, is, of course, he's doing what he should be doing, churning those legs. But if you're on the ground, he's spiking your calves. He's running all over your hamstrings. He's stepping on your buttocks, and he's just, man, he's hurting somebody down there. 
That's, I, I tell you what, that might be the next opening. Stepping on your hamstrings and cleating your buttocks, I tell you. And, you know, it looks like the uh, Harrison County uh, Rebels are trying to establish their fullback uh, so that they can maybe get some, uh, get some opportunities wide and, uh, they, because they've probably ran six or seven plays right up the middle so far. This would have been wide left and right flag on the play. And I think we may be lined up in the neutral zone. I believe Deion Smith's actually lined up in the, in the, in the uh, neutral zone, as you said, Jack. Uh, he said number 24. I can't see it from here. All right, that's Javoski Levitt. Yeah. I, I, what, 24 is not even on the field. Well, I, believe four, then, I believe that's 14, Deion that's, Smith, Greg. Yeah, I, it, it looked like a two from this side, but he did <laughs> hold up one four. <laughs> yeah. So they'll look at second and two now. Looks like they're going to run the same play. Quarterback Carnes back under center. Split backfield for him. He'll turn around, hand it off to his fullback. He's going to get the first down and more, but more, not a whole lot more, across to the 45-yard line. Little crisscross action there in the backfield. And it looks like from where the spot is, it's going to be a first down, but it was only second down and two. So um, the uh, Harrison County Rebels doing a good job yeah. moving the ball, keeping it uh, keeping it on the ground, trying to shorten the game. You know, you don't want Callaway, the, like you mentioned earlier, the best, uh, best defense is a good offense. Yeah. So if you don't have the ball, you can't score. So uh, as Callaway showed there, they're going to be able to score. Uh, they did it in two plays. So uh, the uh, Harrison County doing a good job with their game plan so far. Deep eye to put a man in motion going back to the far side in number 10. He'll turn around and hand the ball off off tackle. And, hey, another good eight, nine yards for Harrison County. And they found a little bit of weakness on right off the tackle there against the Cavaliers. That time the Cavaliers brought the, brought the blitz. Uh, Keyshawn Freeman from his linebacker ran right by the play. Uh, and the uh, fullback hit it off the uh, left guard for, for a big uh, nine-yard gain on first down. Eight-yard gain, excuse me. I actually had a crisscross there, Tony and Jack, with the uh, left tackle, left guard. Left tackle blocked down, guard pulled out and kicked out the defensive end. And, it was a nice little uh, little job by uh, 58 Lopez, who's uh, still laughing and having a good time. They break the huddle, go back to the eye. Do the quarterback, Carnes, with a wing to his right side. Man split wide to the far side. Right off tackle again. This will be a, another first down for them across the 35. And, hey, two plays, 10 yards, just about. That's going to be their modus operandi. Their what? I like that's gonna that. That's going to be the way Jack. they do stuff. Is that yeah. the way they do stuff? I okay. like that. Wow. That was so I, got my, I got my SAT calendar I word had, of the day again. I was, I was afraid to even comment on that one, Jack. But you're, you're right. Harrison County, again, their offensive line is doing a good job uh, coming off the ball together. The timing's there. And uh, so far, they've they've ground out probably five, six first downs in their first two possessions. You never know if, uh, like, Dr. Pugh's going to be listening. I want to make sure I use a big word every once in a while. Keep mm. the job. Mm. Here they come back to the line of scrimmage. That deep eye again. For Harrison County, they'll send a man in motion from the far side. That's number 10. He's going to back up, pitch, and he's going to turn up field. Wow, hit hard. Let's see who stepped into the hole and hit him so hard. That's uh, It'll be 52 for the Cavaliers. That's big Justice Perkins yeah. again from his defensive tackle. Brandon Sutton, number 55, also playing defensive tackle. And uh, the uh, I don't know if Harrison County will be able to make a living going wide on the Cavaliers simply because there's too much speed on the defense. Well, not uh, with so much depth. You really can't go deep and then try to get it out wide. You've got to come right down the line and go off tackle, it's like. So far, they've had, you know, their best success has been right off tackle, right off guard. So I'm sure you'll see them maybe go back to it here on second down and eight. Cody Spain and Cody Card. Spain is the deep back. He's going to get the ball, and he's going to get hit right at the line of scrimmage. Be number 19, Quintavious Anderson making the tackle there. Yeah, Nooney Anderson there coming back from a, from an injury for a couple of weeks. Good to have him back in the rotation. He's a he's a big part of that uh, defense. And, uh, uh, the, uh, they tried to trap him that time, and he just uh, he simply stepped in and took on the block and made a big play. So it brings up a third down, about eight here for Harrison County. And these are the these are the uh, the, the downs and distances that Harrison County will try to avoid yeah. because uh, the Cavaliers pretty much feel like they got to throw it on this down. And so you could see you could see Coach Hubbard dialing up some pressure here. Well, he just. Sean Freeman just came in from the sideline and uh, gave some guys uh, some suggestions about how they ought to be running this defense. Let's see what happens. You know, back up the pass, a little tight end dump, and it's going to be incomplete. Boy, he had him there, too. Good pressure from the Cavaliers. Uh, ball was a little bit out front of the receiver, and he, he had an opportunity to make a play right there. So, uh, good call, just uh, not good execution right there. But, again, it's deep inside Callaway. Tip. Well, I say deep, it's inside the 35, so fourth down and about eight. Uh, I would feel like he'll go for it. Punt really doesn't do yeah. any good here. You can only gain maybe 10, 12 yards of field position. So, Harrison County is going to give it a shot. Well, you know, and, and the tight end dump, and that was a – it was on his fingertips, Tony, but I think it's a classic case of I'm, I'm going to get a hit. A little bit of alligator arms yeah, there. You're, you're exactly. right. Yeah. Kind of pull him in a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, but, hey, you know, uh, you, may see, you may see that same thing again. Give the Cavaliers something to think about. 
Harrison County is going to have to call timeout. Don't like what they see from the Cavaliers. They take a timeout. We take one as well. 3.20 left to go in the first quarter. Play 7 nothing is your score. Callaway Cavaliers leading this one. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier Football, 969-1240, WLAG. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than probably don't have enough. And that's why State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually lives on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house insurance or life without having to give up college insurance. The benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call State Farm Agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange at 706-882-9324 and put the life back in life insurance. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Eagle Sports, WLAG, 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Here comes Harrison County back on the field. they got the deep eye behind the quarterback, Carnes, again. They'll have a wing to the right side in, in number 10, Dylan Foster. Foster going in motion back to the far side. We're going to follow him along. to go off the left tackle, fighting for yardage, and give him a lot of credit. He gets to the 30, but he's going to be short, and he'll turn over on downs. Good job that time by the Cavalier defense. They were That was a prime opportunity for maybe some type of trick play, uh, but the Cavaliers stayed at home, read their keys, and even though the uh, running back picked up about four yards, uh, he didn't get the necessary yardage for the first down, so Cavaliers get the ball in their second offensive possession. Uh, ball is going to be marked at their own 29-yard line. So from the 29, that's where the Cavaliers will take it. Only two plays in their last drive to score a touchdown. Let's see what they can do in this one. They'll split Twins to this near side. Twins to the far side. Parks will go to the shotgun. Take the snap and hand the ball off to his tailback. He's going to dance outside, cut back inside to the 35, to the 40. Rosser following his blocks across the 50. Man to the 45-yard line. Boy, he looks good running the ball. Good blocks on the edge that time by number 12, Dante Lindsey, uh, from his wide receiver position. And the, the Cavaliers went into the shotgun with uh, uh, dual wide receivers on both sides and really spread out the defense and just gave the ball to Devon Rosser, and he found a lot of run room around the left side. Rosser will be just to the right of Parks, sliding on both sides. Clock continues to run, 2.59. Let's go, Parks. Fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, looking downfield. They're going to chase him. He's going to air it out on the run, and it's going to be intercepted by Harrison County back at the 15. Going to ride him down at the 25, but uh, I think that's one of those just kind of get back to the line of scrimmage and go out of bounds, Tony. Tony. Yeah, not a, not a good throw by Tez Parks at all. Not a good decision. He had room to run. Tried to force the ball down the field and really underthrew it badly, and the uh, result was a, is an interception. So Harrison County turns away the Cavaliers on this possession. Yeah, you're right. I was standing behind uh, – Tez as he let it go at that time. It looked like it slipped out of his hand. Had a, kind of a wounded duck look to it and, and uh, threw it off balance. But uh, doggone it, unlike you, Tony, uh, maybe if you tuck it and keep running. They're going to put a man in motion. That's Foster again. Going off tackle. Almost hit the quarterback as he hands it off. We get yards up to the foot. Ball might be on the ground. Let's see. Cavaliers come out of there with it, but evidently it was blown dead. Yep, looks like it. Uh, he'll get to the 29-yard line. So a game of about four, second and six. Yeah, I think if Tez had it to do over again, he keeps that ball and maybe gets what he can and gets out of bounds. But, uh, you know, we've seen him all year try to make a play. Uh, you, get the ball, make you get the ball near Terry Godwin, and nine times out of ten, he's going to make a play. But that ball was really underthrown very badly. Quick and, uh, score update, uh, guys. Fayette County over LaGrange right now, 7-0 early in the first quarter. Wow. Of course, it is early in that ball game, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. As uh, we do a good job that time of taking the – back out of the backfield. That's going to be number 55. That's Brandon, Brandon Sutton. Sutton making that tackle. Yeah, got some guys on the offensive line playing the defensive line tonight. Normally we see Brandon from his from his right guard. Uh, he's doing... Uh, he's well, he fit, pulled on that one. He's fit, <laughs> yeah, he pulled a long way to get to the defensive side that time, but uh, uh, Coach Wiggins is, uh, has... Uh, uh, has found more big bodies to rotate into that yeah. uh, line of scrimmage, so it's, uh, it brings up a third down and about four, Jack. Carnes will go back up to center with the eye formation behind him. He'll split a man wide to this near side. Man wide to the far side. Tied into the left. Keller's showing a stunt. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to get across the 35 for the first down. I think he's going to be right there at the 35. I believe that's going, uh, I believe that's going to be a first down based on that right foot spot. He had to get out to the 35. That'll be a first down from here, guys. Wow. Yep. They, they don't even measure it. They're going to send him right on down. I'm sure the Cavaliers can't be happy with a quarterback sneak for four yards, and I'm sure the, uh, uh, the defensive line coaches and the defensive coaches will uh, – uh, see if they can't make some improvements Well, that's on the that. sixth first down right now that Harrelson County has had so far in this ball game. Maybe seventh. I'll have to check my math in a second. Carnes back under center. Hand off to the fullback. He's going to get three, second and seven. 
ran into a brick wall that time up there. A lot of it was his, uh, his own offensive lineman, but that was a result of number eight, Bronze Zalea. And uh, again, number 55, Brandon Sutton, doing a good job of filling that hole. So far, Harrison County has really continued to pound it and pound well, it and pound they, it right up, the game plan. right up the middle of the field. And, so, uh, you know, with 50 seconds to go and the clock running, uh, scores only 7 to nothing. Cavaliers have had the ball one twice, scored once, and had a turnover. So, uh, good quarter, good first quarter for yeah. Harrison County. They're going to put Foster in motion back to the far side. We're going to trail alongside him. Going to go off tackle with big number nine. That's uh, Caleb May. May's going to get another few yards across the 40. The 41, that'll probably be the last play unless they can get one more out in the first quarter. Let's see. Going to market Jack just outside the just outside the 40 at the 41. It's going to bring up about third down and four. So let's see if they decide to let the clock run out or try to get in another play here before, before the quarter. Looks like they can let the clock out without any let the clock run out without any problems. Looks like that's what they're going to do. They're take their time, get back up the line. They'll they'll set up as, as if they're going to go for it. But four, three, two, one, and that'll be the end. Of the first quarter play. The Cali Cavaliers leading right now, seven nothing. Harrison County with a good showing here at homecoming for them. But the Cavaliers are on top, and that's the way we like it. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier football on 96 9 and 1240 WLAG. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706 706- 23-1702 or Rob Up Church at 706-523-0014. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB and understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let cb and help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. cb and a division of Synovus Bank. Member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply. Subject to approval. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG, 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Cali Cavalier football. Jack Warren, Tony Walls, Greg Hicks down the field. A fresh 12 minutes on the clock. 7-0 is your score. Cali leading this one. Harrison County has the ball. They switch into the field. They're going right to left as you look at your radio. They'll put a man in motion. And uh, we're going to hand off to their fullback, May. So we'll try to go on that right side. And uh, we're starting to read that play a little bit better, Greg. I, I tell you what, you, you don't know what, what Harrison County is setting yourself up for. They could be doing the same thing. Nothing, uh, nothing venture, nothing gain. But, uh, you know, the Callaway Cavaliers are really pursuing hard now, and, and they're, they're tightening up on that interior of the defensive line. Like you said, Tony, no more quarterback sneaks for four yards. But uh, watch out for that little reverse later on because, you know, Harrison right. County is one of those teams that uh, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. But uh, I might kind of keep my backside uh, s- s- playing good technique on that one. Also watch the ball this time because they could go the hard count. Cavaliers yeah. going to take a timeout, I believe. Yep, you're exactly right. Kelly takes the timeout. We take one as well. 11 15. Let's go in the second quarter of play. 7 0 is your score with Callaway leading. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier football on 96 9 and 1240 WLAG. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Matt on the square in downtown LaGrange can help you get to a better state because he'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange and officially get to a better state with State Farm. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back. 11-15 left to go in the first half of play. 7 nothing. your score. Harrison County will break the huddle, head back to the middle of the field. Actually, on the right hash is where they'll be running the ball from. Moving right to left, they're in their blue tops, uh, navy blue, white pants. Quarterback with a long step camp, puts Foster in motion. They'll hand it off to their fullback. He's going to burst through the line, and I think they're going to mark him just short, guys. You know, that's going to be a right foot or left foot spot. Let's see what they got here. He had to get about out to the front. Right so spot. That's going to be that's going to be close. He's got to get across the 45, though, and I think he's just short. 
I was can't it, tell exactly. They're going to bring the chains out. Looks if, like. it's, if it's short of the 45, he didn't get there, I don't believe. No, it, I'm going to guess he's going to be about six inches short, Greg. No, what do you I, think? I'll give him two inches short. Okay. <laughs> no, no, really. I mean, it's, it's going to be so close, it's hard to call right here. Well, you are down there just like Tony was on the field last night, right there on the money. So we had to pull Tony off the, off the field a couple of times. He got so close to the action. That's uh, that's a first down, guys. Wow. All right. By, by two that? inches. Wow. Well, I'm over. I'm over one, Greg. So. It's okay. Uh, it's it's being down on the field that has you advantage. That's what it is, no doubt. But again, Harrison County doing exactly sticking to their game plan, doing exactly what they set out to do, shortening the game, uh, keeping the ball away from the Cal Cavalier offense, and uh, well, Kelly's run uh, four plays in this ball game. That's yeah, all. And, and but you got you know you got to give Harrison County's offensive line a lot of credit. They're knocking Callaway off the ball right now and getting three, four, five yards every carry. Yep. So Carnes will go back under center, puts Foster in motion, going around with the left side. Like, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They well, you know, we, we talk about you know, even though they run four plays, two of those plays have gone for uh, significant yardage. Uh, you, know, you think about it, you had the, the roster touchdown, and then – Well, uh, even even the play on their second drive, roster, roster, roster across went. midfield. Yeah, and right. then they had the turnover. So, uh, you're right. You're right, Greg. Uh, so, yeah, hey, give give credit to the Rebels no for, doubt. for having that good game plan. No doubt. You, as long as you got that ball control, you keep the, the potent Callaway, uh, the offense off the field. So, when they do get on the field, they got to make it count. Very important that they do that. Carnes will go back under center. He'll have a single back to the back behind him, split backfield. Going uh, off tackle to the right. Actually, I guess more like off guard. He's a little bit more on the interior of the line. He's going to get across the 50 to the 47. Their fullback's doing a good job. He, run, he runs the ball hard. That's uh, number nine, Caleb May there. Only a, only a junior, but uh, finding some running room behind his offensive line over on the right side there. So, again, picked up about four yards there. Brings up a very manageable third down and three for uh, Harrelson County with 9.49 to go. Clock running in the second quarter. How many times have we already been in this position? And one of the things I've noticed about him, Tony, if he comes through the line, if he would hold his head up, he might actually see a little bit better. But uh, he's just kind of giving, giving. He just oh, wow. wow, nowhere that and time. Nowhere that time. Great job by the Cavalier front line that time. When you look in there, you see Keyshawn Freeman, who actually came out of the pile with the ball, and uh, Cavaliers did a good job of diagnosing that play right there. So, but again, the Cavaliers have not been able to get off the field on third and fourth down. Harrison County has really been able to convert more often than not, uh, and that's why the game actually, is still seven to nothing. If I'm so. not mistaken, it's four or five third down conversions so far in this ball. Actually. Fourth down conversions. Right. They've got a couple of those. So fourth down once again. No sign of a kicking game for Harrison County. They're going to slid a man wide to this near side. Carnes will go under center. Wing to the right. Twins behind him. Turns. Hands it off. And we're going to stop him this time. I believe he's going to be short that yeah. time, guys. It doesn't matter what foot spot that's going to be. It's going to be short of the first down. So he, really, he really got more forward progress than you would thought. But, yeah. again, the Cavaliers held him, get the ball back. So uh, they're able to get off the field uh, finally and uh, maybe get over there. And maybe the Cavaliers' uh, offense now can keep the ball going a long drive and uh, give that defense a little time to rest and make some adjustments. Well, just, you know, they've had the ball this whole second quarter. It's 849 left to go in this first half. 7 nothing. your score, Cali, with the ball. They're moving from left to right. Ball's on the 46-yard line. And here comes Kelly Parks going to center. Eye formation behind a quick snap. Toss the ball to Culpepper going around the right side. Goes to the, gets to the corner, 50, Good block. and gets downfield. Actually, looks like he tripped up on his own at the, about the mm, look on 41. I think you're right there. Jack number 17, Nick Woodyard from the wide receiver spot, blocking out there. And, uh, Eddie saw a hole and cut up field, and I think he actually tripped over Nick's ankle. Uh, but, again, a big run on first down. Play gained about 15 yards all the way down inside the 40 to the 39-yard line of Harrelson County. Hunter Finley on the tackle. Parks will roll man to the far side. He'll get a slot. That'll be... 17, Nick Woodyard, split wide out that far side. Parks reverses. And a nice little Rosser trap inside. Again. Rosser has the ball at the 30. Still in his feet to the 30. Uh, excuse me, down to the 25. Takes an outside move to the 20. And I tell you what, that was a really nice inside trap play. He's pretty nimble for a big man. Again, that's one of the Cavalier plays that we talk about it every week. They run that little trap right behind the center. Uh, Stephen Curtis and uh, guard Devin Powell and and, uh, and uh, Brandon Sutton, and so they do a great job of that, and Ross has found uh, lots of running room so far tonight on that one play. I, I tell you, the, the Harrelson County corner looked like he was blinded. He just – Rosser just came right by him. He didn't really realize he had the ball. Well, I think he thought Parks still had it. Parks laid that out very well. Parks going back up to pass, through it. Got a man in the corner, and actually threw back across the middle of the field. 
Uh, not too bad a pass, a little bit high Boy, for Terry Godwin. He had Terry Godwin wide open across the middle, and the ball was behind him and and uh, and, and too high. But uh, uh, Godwin was open there uh, in, in the end zone for a possible touchdown. So uh, Tez a little off tonight with his throws, but uh, – uh, he, he'll get it before the night's over, yeah, he I had, promise. He had Ed Daniel in the corner all wide open as right. well. Ed didn't even turn around and look for the ball. So it brings up second down and 10. Ball rests right at the 20. Again, quick snap. Culpepper gets to the kick. Balls on the ground. Loses, loses the ball. We're going to get Cowan on it. got it. A, a good old lineman going to take care of the ball now. Because you know <laughs> that's, number fi- that's number 57, Devin Powell from his left guard. Johnny on the spot to uh, save a turnover there. So that's going to bring up a third down and about, uh, about four, I guess, for the Cavaliers. Ball's inside the 15, down to about the 14-yard line of Harrelson County. 7 nothing's your score. 7.51 left to go in the first half of play. Kelly from the huddle. Breaks, makes their way in the line of scrimmage. Nice hustle from the guys as they make their way out there. Wing right. Excuse me, slot right. It'll be Parks from the shotgun. Takes it. He's just going to call his own number, run up field. He's going to trip him up, and he's going to go down at the 15. So that's going to get this crowd fired up as it's going to be fourth down and five for the Cavaliers. That time Parks, if he had it to do again, he would probably turn that ball up field. He had some room to run in behind center, but instead he chose to go outside. Good good job by the Harrison County defense. So he loses about two yards, but fourth down and six. Uh, the Cavaliers are going to uh, go for it down here. on their ball's back on about their 15-yard line, and again, they can get got to get just inside the 10 for a first down. They break the hole, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be Rosser just to the right, and uh, we've got a lot of movement in the line that time. I believe the Cavaliers might have moved a little bit before the snap count there. Jack, let's see what the officials find. All right. Looks like they might be pointing toward Harrelson County. Well, I, there's movement on both sides of the line. Let's just see who did it first. I think White Hat said back it up. No, it's going to call it on Harrelson County. All right, then. It is back it up, just the defense got to back up. Good, 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 good. So I guess them being in the neutral zone caused the offensive lineman to flinch. Is that right? That's like that how it works. Okay. It, it caused me to flinch. So that brings up fourth down and one for the Cavaliers, and uh, uh, just inside the ten yard line, the Cavaliers get, got to get down just inside about the eight for a first down. So much more manageable fourth down here yeah. for the Cavaliers. If we have a chance at halftime, we're going to try to talk to Topher Burns, the principal up here at Harrelson County, a former Troop County. I see him standing over there. We'll, we'll try to bring him in. A lot of a lot of folks having a good time here at this ball game. Parks are going to center, and they're going to jump off sides and hit us, and that may be the first down we needed. Good good job by Tez Parks that time. He uh, went to the hard count on, on the second count. Harrison County jumped off sides. So a uh, good job that time by Tez uh, uh, using his uh, his intellect there to draw him off sides yep. and uh, uh, picked up 10 yards really without running a play. <laughs> You're exactly right. Uh, two penalties in a row. So that will give him the first and more. So it will be first and goal to go inside the 10. Half the distance, so they'll go to the seven-yard line. Looks like they're, well, seven, five. What, what you going to do? Four right, and so a half. Four and a half. That sounds good. We'll go with that. So first to go from the four and a half-yard line, 637 left to go in this first half of play. Seven, nothing your score. Kelly leading this one. Hey, that's that new math we're trying tonight. Yeah, well, it's, it's, we've got the strategies down. We're doing good. Back to the eye. Real quickly again with the Culpepper, the ball carries, fights his way into the end zone for a touchdown for the Cavaliers. Good job by Eddie Culpepper that time, following the lead block of block of pulling guard Brandon Sutton, led him into the uh, into the end zone. He put his foot in the ground and cut up the field, so uh, put the Cavaliers up by a score of 13 to nothing. 6:24 to go in the second quarter with the extra point to follow. Really impressed with Eddie Culpepper since he's come back the last two or three weeks, Jack. He's been he has maker. really been a big difference maker. Another one of those weapons that the uh, the defensive defensive coaches have to account for. Terry Gowan will be doing the holding duties as we await. Chase Freeman's attempt. Snap, hold, kick is up. And that kick is good. Two for two tonight for Chase Freeman. Good to see that improvement from that young man on his extra points. Like it. 624 left to go in this first half. 14 nothing. your score. Listen to Callaway Cavalier Football from 96-9-12-40 WLAG. Blue season is upon us, and we would like to invite Blue you to get your season. flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. 
Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Radio, man. Welcome back, everyone. Jack Woman's running for mayor of Harrison County up here. He ran to one of his friends uh, in, in the education business. So Jack's back now. He's going to uh, – the calculator is going to kick off. And, again, Harrison Uh-oh. County breaks free. Caught from behind that time by uh, number two, Ed Daniels. So, once again, the kickoff coverage team's having trouble tonight, Jack. Guys, we're giving up 40 uh, – up across the 40 almost every time we kick off. And, uh, again, they've got great field position at the 47-yard line. And Coach Wiggins is going to wear a path out over there on that sideline. You can uh, He is not happy with his uh, no. kickoff coverage team. And uh, he uh, – He could be up by 40 and not going to be happy yeah, with that. Yeah, he, he's, he's still coaching. And, uh, yeah, I like his intensity. But you're right. Uh, this is two weeks in a row now. The Cavaliers have had a lot of trouble on kickoff coverage. Well, you know, the new math uh, is uh, shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And there was no fancy anything about that. That, that fullback just went straight up the middle. Uh, right across the 45-yard line. Long snap count this time for Harrison County. I think he'll step up, look around, and go back under center. This is now, it's going to be handed off to the fullback. He gets maybe a yard, but uh, right now the uh, interior line of the Cavaliers is really stepping up. Well, Harrison County continues to run in behind their center, uh, left and right guard uh, with their fullback number nine there. And, um, you know, so far so good on that play. That's the first time on first down. I think the Cavaliers have held them to no gain. So uh, let's see if uh, Harrison, Harrison County uh, might have to get away from that strategy if they expect to uh, to move the ball on, on the Cavaliers. No gain on the play. Actually, they don't give them any gain at all. So second down and 10, 5.44 left to go. 14 nothing's your score. Callaway leading this one. Back to the eye. That uh, kind of deep eye. The fact the fullback's about six yards back behind the quarterback. Hands it off to the tailbacks who go off the right side. And uh, I tell you what, now, guys, they duck their head awful quick. That's uh, Brady, Brady Cawthon, the, the ball carrier. And as soon as he gets the line of scrimmage, he's kind of ducking down and saying, please don't don't hurt me here. Well, they ran a little they ran a little trap there with the uh, with the, with the uh, with an H back over there, and the Cavaliers did a good job. It, it looked like it could uh, had some room to develop there, and the Cavaliers stepped in and held it to a, about a three-yard gain. So it brings up a third down and seven. So let's see if the Cavaliers can hold them and get off the field and get the, give the ball back to the offense here. Of course, Cavaliers would like to go in with another score. It is homecoming here for the uh, Rebels. I'm sure it's probably four-down territory here again, I uh, would think. Well, they've been across the, on the other side of the field. The 45 has been four-down territory. Long snap, can again snap. Fake the handoff, and he's going to run back to pass. Throw it. Uh, misses his intended receiver, who is open out in the middle of the field on the right, assume on the near hash around the 40. Ball was a little high that time. Good pressure from number nine, Jalen Allen. Uh, and the quarterback's rolling to his left, and that's a tough throw. And uh, had a receiver uh, partially open, but it threw the ball a little high. Almost intercepted by number 22 out there uh, for the Cavaliers. That's uh, Michael Moss. So we are uh, going to have a punt here. Actually, looks like, like they are going to punt this time. Kind of had a baseball throw to that one. A uh, little off balance, throwing off. He's running across his body. I think if he'd have planted and set, even though he had a little backside pressure, it might have been a better throw. A little rugby kick off the side oh, of the field. Wow. We'll pick it up in stride at the 20. Up to the 35 to the 40. Down the sideline, 50. He could go. 40, back. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cowboy Cavaliers. No flags on the field. I see no flags. And, boy, that, that little pooch kick that time didn't really uh, didn't really uh, work too, too well for Harrison County. The ball hit the ground and bounced right up into a sprinting Terry Godwin who caught it in full stride and went down to uh, Callaway sideline untouched to put the Cavaliers up by a score of 20 to nothing with 4.25 to go here in the second quarter with the extra point to follow. Wow. He, he picked that ball up on the bounce, as you said, guys, and uh, he, he, uh, he vo- avoided about two tacklers and just simply brushed by him. And when he hit that sideline at about the 47-yard line, he was history. So the Callaway offense won't even get on the field now as Godwin is running in. Freeman. Snap, hold, kick is up, and that kick is good. With Three, four th- I'm sorry, Jack. Go I was going to say with 425 left to go in this first half, 21 nothing. Let's keep it here. What were you going to say, Tony? I was just going to say three for three tonight for Chase Freeman, and that was one of the one of the things the Cavaliers we felt like had to work on to get better. And so far it looks like Chase has maybe maybe done some things, worked hard in practice this week, shortened his shortened his approach to the ball. Looks like a one-step and kick, and so far so good. And, and uh, great job by the uh, by the extra point team now. Now if we can get this kickoff coverage team straightened out, we'll be doing yeah. well, won't we, Jack? Yeah. Hey, I want to share news with you guys. You know, we talk about all the professional athletes coming out of uh, – the, the local area, Troop County area. But well, we've added one to the professional ranks uh, from Callaway High School, Kyle Mims, who graduated in 2009, 
was on the Callaway golf team, went on to West Georgia, University of West Georgia to play, obtained his PGA card this week. So uh, we have a professional athlete from Callaway High School in Kyle Mims. That's big, too. Congratulations, Kyle. Balls the kick is going to be hit at the 20. They pick it up, and he's going to get a good return across the 20 to the 30, about the 33 yard line. Actually, going to give it to the 35 on the roll. And he's going to have it there. The Harrison County have it there moving right to left on your radio dial. Tackle that time by number seven for the Cavaliers, Jet Snellings. Uh, number five, uh, Petey Leverett, a little slow to get up. He's going to make his way off the field. Uh, maybe with a, uh, but he's going to be okay. He's got a little slight limp there. So Callaway, Callaway defense back on the field now, Jack, with 420 to go. Uh, here in the second so they have been on the field quite a bit and uh, so some of those uh, guys we used to see on offense have been on the field we mentioned that earlier number 25 Brandon Body coming in to play linebacker to give uh, uh, number 10 uh, Keyshawn Freeman a break and Javoski Levitt number 24 in also at the linebacker for Zalea they run Foster again and is in motion to the far side go right off tackle quarterbacks will keep it he'll get to the 38 yard line Good read that time by the quarterback as he uh, read the, the uh, defensive end for the Cavaliers and kept the ball. Went around in for a short gain, about two, but uh, uh, keeping the Cavaliers uh, uh, honest, uh, trying to run off of that veer that they've been running so so effectively so far. But actually picked up four yards, so brings up second down and six. A couple of scores uh, we're getting in uh, on the uh, our ticker here up at the stadium. Heard County right now winning 21 to nothing the first quarter over Jordan. Uh, there's their homecoming there in Heard County. Manchester up uh, eight to nothing over Bremen as well. And, and speaking of, of Heard County, we, we talked about it coming up here. Coach Tim Barron gained his 100th win last week against Manchester. Ball's on the ground, Jack. Picked, picked up, up by the Cavaliers. Cavaliers. And we could go again down to the 10. That's Deion Smith. Smith. Touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers on a defensive play. Ball's on the ground. We pick it up and go into the end zone for the score. Deion limped off the field a while ago with a, with a leg and shoulder opportunity. But, boy, that thing healed real good when he saw that ball on the ground. And uh, great awareness by the uh, number 14, Deion Smith, who's had a real, real excellent two or three weeks and is really playing well. Saw the ball on the ground, picked it up, and went in from about 35 yards out to put the, put the uh, Cavaliers up by a score of 27 to nothing with the extra point to follow. So another great play. Man, that's a, that's, a, that's a dagger to a team to, to have us do something like that against them. Woo. Well, speaking of scores, 7-7, uh, seven, seven, LaGrange and Fayette County. Okay. Low scoring affair there. Wait for the snap, the hold. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 28 to nothing with 3.31 left to go in this first half of play. You listen to Calvary Cavalier football on 96.9 and 1240 WLAG. Kia. Hi friends, Jess Licht here with Kia of LaGrange. I'd like you to come by and check out the all new redesigned Kia Rio. The Rio is not only fuel efficient, but it's comfortable and safe as well. The 13 Rio starts as low as 12.9. It's backed by Kia's 10 year 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. Right now you can drive the Rio for only $159 a month on a 36 month lease. The Rio is available either a four door sedan or a sporty five door hatchback. See the Rio and all our inventory online at kiaoflagrange.com. Help support your local economy. See Kia of LaGrange for complete details. Leases with $1,999 due at signing. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, as we said, to Callaway Cavalier football. Callaway, you ready to kick the ball off again? Kicking off from the 41 step. There's the kick. Nice high kick taken down at about the 15-yard about the line. Back up field, uh, shoestring. He spins around, gets across the 30, down to the 35, and that's where they'll have it first and 10. Much better coverage that time by the Cavaliers. Even though the ball did get out to the 35-yard line, the uh, the uh, returner for the Rebels filled it on about his own 10. So uh, Cavaliers did a better job of staying in their lane that time. Keyshawn Freeman missed a tackle about 10 yards back, but uh, uh, much better job by the Cavaliers on the kickoff coverage that time. 3.23 left to go in the first half. 28-0 your score, Callaway leading. Also, 28-0 over to Hurd County now as they've also scored again in the second quarter of play. So they're uh, having their way against Jordan and in their homecoming. Harrison County going to break the huddle. Send twins to this near side. Quarterback's going to check his line. Two backs in the backfield. Run that uh, little trap play. Going to get a little bit better yardage for him this time. Across the 40 to the 42. A little bit different look that time as they... Uh uh, offensive line again from Harrison County came off the ball well, ran a little, uh, a little power sweep off the left side there, and uh, picked up about seven yards. Ed Daniel on the tackle for the Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. Pulling guard moved out and kicked out pretty well. Uh, get some extra yardage. Second down now. Under three minutes. 
number 21, R.J. Williams, into the game for the Cavaliers at the right line, right outside linebacker. Uh, number, 50, number 15, Cedric Maynard, playing on the left side as linebacker. Lopez will step out into a slot. The quarterback, Cody Carnes, back under center. Slip backfield behind him. Takes the snap, going right off. And he has trouble actually giving the ball off. But they push the pile across the 45. That's going to be a first down for they, Harrelson County. They sure did. The Cavaliers had that stacked up well. And the, uh, the offensive line kept moving those feet. Running back kept uh, kept his head down, churning away. Picked up a first down for Harrelson County. That's about seven first downs for Harrelson County. And, guys, you know, they have other teams have not picked up quite this kind of yards and had this kind of ball control against the Cavaliers in other ball games. Well, especially with eight men in the box, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't think that teams would be successful. And, again, it's 28 to nothing. And they're going to have to abandon that, that uh, if they expect to get back in this game other than trying trying to keep it respectable. But uh, uh, you're right, Jack. Harrelson County's offensive line doing a good job. Put a man in motion back to this near side. Again, going off the left side this time. We make a good tackle at about the 46, 47-yard line. Ran a little trap that time. A tackle in there by number 10, Keyshawn Freeman, from his linebacker position. Held a play to about a one-yard gain. That's the kind of thing that will actually frustrate a guy like Keyshawn because he, uh, he has a lot of pride in that defense. He won't see that score stay to zero. But all these yardage going against him, he doesn't really care for as, as well. Well, you know, you, you, you practice all week, and, and you, 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 know, you, you watch your opponent, and uh, it's a matter of blocking and tacking, tackling and execution. Sure. And, and, and really, you have to give Harrison County uh, a lot of credit, even though they're behind 28 to nothing. They've had a couple special teams breaks down, break downs, but they've done a good job moving the football. Callaway with a defensive score and then some uh, good job on the special teams and also the offense scoring. Hand off into the line. Across the 50 to the 49 on the other side. A little quick hitter by the fullback right right behind the center there. Picked up about uh, uh, maybe a couple of yards. Ball's going to be marked on the Callaway side of the 50, just between the 49 and 50. So uh, third down and about four here. Uh, again, Jack, we've talked all night. I would assume this is going to be two-down territory yeah. to try to get the first down. So, And, and the way the, uh, the Rebels have been able to move the ball, uh, no reason to think they can't pick it up. So let's see if the Cavaliers can, can get two big stops here and get the ball back to the offense. Well, we've only seen one punt from them, and we ran that back for a touchdown. So. Right. Uh, don't expect that to, that to take place again. Back to the deep eye. Carnes will have a man going motion. That's Foster to his fullback. He's going to go off tackle, pick up the first down across the 45-yard line, down to 44. And I tell you what, I tell you what they just seem to find a way every time. Uh, R.J. Williams will be in there on the tackle, but uh, just down the field every time picking up uh, extra yardage. And the fullback gets up limping, Jack, and that's a big blow right there. He's, that's not good for them. I don't know if that's uh, some type of leg injury. He makes his way to the sideline. May just got his legs tangled up a little bit. I, I think we'll probably see him back in the game here in a few minutes, but he's been very effective. He hit, he hit up in that hole and uh, made a quick cut to the outside and uh, picked up another first down for Harrison County. Well, he's, he's been a workhorse for sure. 33 seconds, and, and guys, we, it's halftime already. We just snuck up on us. Yep. Well, hey, you, you run this much, the clock just doesn't stop. Back to the eye. They tighten up the fullback right behind the quarterback. Going to hand them all off to him, and uh, we're going to slam him down pretty good after a game of one. 17 seconds. That may be the last play of the first half. In fact, uh, they're going to start heading into the field house. Correction on the LaGrange scores, 8-7 to seven LaGrange. Okay. Wow, what a quick first half there, guys. You're right, 28 nothing Cavaliers at halftime, but, boy, it didn't take long to get that half in. We're going to see if Greg has a chance to catch up with Coach Wiggins over there as we keep it here for just a moment. Well, I'll have to catch him down here at the fence. I was actually heading up to the stands to get a few fan reaction, but we'll do that later. We've got lots of time at halftime as they'll be doing their homecoming stuff. Trying to find your, your bright legs over there. Can't, can't see you. Uh, check me at the gate. <laughs> if you put your Mickey Mouse poncho on like I had on last night, I wouldn't have no trouble finding it. I hear you, brother. Yeah. I'm looking for the glare. No, that would be me when you look for the glare. Not well, Greg. Well, there's a little more glare than used to be. Man, yeah, that's Greg, for sure. Greg, Greg still got the do. He still got his do working. So. <laughs> you know, you, imagine if we didn't like each other, what we'd say yeah, about it, each Wouldn't other. that be something? Wow. We'd be a lot nicer to each other, wouldn't we, though? <laughs> well, we'd have to. Well, we all know each other's wives, too. We don't want to make anybody too mad because that's the one we don't want to make mad. Let's see if you're not Greg. All right, here we go. Him. All right, uh, thank you. Go uh, ahead, Greg. Coach Wiggins, a uh, lot of scores uh, first half. What do you think? How, how's your team looking so far? Well, um, uh, we had a uh, couple of miscues offensively early. 
that uh, hurt us with an interception. Uh, you know, obviously we've got to do a better job at that. Uh, our defensive line's got to play a little lower to stop their, their run game. But, uh, you know, we're up 28 to nothing. Obviously I'm pleased with that. But uh, we just got to play a little bit more uh, sound football. Well, we talked about how they're trying to control the, the clock. But you know what? Every time you guys catch get the ball, you, you take advantage of it. Well, again, 28 nothing. I'll take it yeah. every time at half. But, uh, you know, there's some little things we need to do better at. All right, Coach. Congratulations. We'll see you later. All right, thank you, Greg, for talking to Coach. So we'll uh, come back. We'll talk about the first half of play and we'll give you some scores that we're getting from around the area. Uh, you listen to Kelly Cavalier Football. They're leading at halftime 28 0 here at homecoming for Harrelson County. You listen to Kelly Cavalier Football on 96 9 12 40 WLAG. Like a great football team, great cities just don't happen. They require vision, hard work, and leadership. Hello, I'm Jim Thornton. 